although this might not be your first and experience but i just wanted to probe you if you have any tips on that what i have learned is while I'm, i have been applying to a lot of machine learning internship positions or maybe even full time positions that i have been applying uh, after my bachelor and masters what w- one thing that i realize is maybe itself the company doesn't have a very clear definition of what the ml engineer umbrella should be doing because for software development even the person in in the very first round of interview can have a great set of duties that they might say that oh hey you might be working on this particular product or certain certain pool of products but what i felt is machine learning in any company uh, doesn't have a very clear set of definition what you might be expected to work on and the interviews even i have been going through i, I have been through six rounds even at google i, I can safely say at google uh, even, like I, i was down to the sixth round of interview and they had a very very different set of interviews that i i find i i found that hey what are you really expecting from me like uh, are you are you trying to probe me from a graph database are you trying to probe me from a neural network per- perspective i cannot provide you all kind of expertise in just one person so the question that i'm i'm trying to come uh, to is what are the expectations that you might feel that hey you're working at a young startup if you wanted to hire a machine learning engineer what he or she should have in his profile and what you would test him or her on that hey i at least need this much insights like this person should be able to at least tell me what the data really looks like or maybe do you want the person to at least run a model and the second question to this uh, the, the second question that you might if you like to answer is how this might differ from big companies uh so I, i i call three categories the big companies which are like highly successful and they have very mature products like google facebook second are the small startups like um who have good amount of funding who have good amount of popularity they just don't have the um the ipo levels uh, popularity and the third is a stealth startup that you are currently working on which to have no public visibility but they might be working on excellent products so yeah those two questions like what are the expectations of this I'll preface that with saying having worked in big companies for a long time and having interviewed at these places interview processes are traditionally just broken like if you look at what happens behind the scenes the person interviewing you really doesn't care he's been called basically out of a duty that he doesn't get rewarded for in any way he'll basically told hey are you free 2 pm on a thursday to take somebody's interview this is his resume and he's say okay i guess i have to uh so he takes it and then he's like what is the question i usually ask what kind of interview is this is it a software engineering or an ml interview if it's a software engineering interview he will come up with the question he typically asks and he'll just ask it he has really no context of what your other interviewers are asking besides maybe he knows the question so there's no duplicates even that falls through sometimes but that's about it so it's not surprising that like you are asked like a complete random set of questions and you're like what do you want from me um i've i've had that experience with with big and and smaller companies when i was interviewing um and i just think it's a poor process and i'll tell you why it's a poor process it's not very interesting but it's it's just because hiring is just one of the 100 things that companies have to do and hiring is run by recruiters but engineers need to get involved but engineers have no incentive to participate in this um so that's why it ends up being a hodgepodge of, of, of situations now coming to the ml engineering specific thing with ml engineering typically it just all it means is you are going to have four rounds on site two ml two engine two software that's fundamentally all it means they are not really thinking about this from a harder level of you know what should the person really know like they're not really delving into it that much they are trying to pro productionize an algorithm for recruiting an ml engineer and this is how you do it two ml rounds ask these sorts of questions two engineering rounds ask these sorts of questions if they pass then they pass then they can come that's the that, that's how it works for most big companies the smaller you go in terms of companies the more they care about what we actually are looking for because every incremental engineer is much more value uh, to them than it is to like a google or facebook they can make one like wrong hire doesn't really matter but for for you know even a 200 300 person company that matters like you want you want to think more rigorously about this so i've seen in those situations you get interviews that are much more well rounded even in our company i can safely attest that we'll have maybe a similar style of interview we don't have an ml role i'll get to that later but we'll we'll have several that style of interviews but when we're discussing feedback we are far more empathetic and far more like delving into do we really think this candidate is good it's just it's a it's a us and a candidate is a very personal relationship where we care about working with this person for a long time we really want to make sure that 
Is it just that we asked a question the person didn't know on the day, even though they're very smart, or is it, are the person lacking? Is the person lacking fundamental? So we'll ask very pointed questions about how did the person approach it or how did the person write this code? Was it just a mistake or was it something he knew and clearly was just a little rough on the edges and really try to delve into what this person's background looks like from the signals in the interview. Um, so now going back into the ML engineering part, we are a small company and at our stage, even though our product is machine learning is a critical part of our product. We don't um, hire specifically for an ML role because it doesn't make sense. Um, the software engineers we will hire typically have the caliber to understand, read research papers, learn state-of-the-art techniques and implement them in a way that some, we don't specifically require somebody with a PhD background where the downside would be they don't know enough about engineering to be productive and the upside is limited. Like maybe they know a lot about a specific domain that can be valuable, which is, you know, it's limited given the fact that they can't really make that and transition that into an actual idea, uh, an actual, uh, you know, working production code. Uh, as you go, as you start growing and you get to a stage where, you know, you have a team, you have, we don't have teams right at our company. We're just a bunch of people with no reporting chain, nothing. When you start having teams and hierarchy, and then you have a team that is working on an ML part of it, like one classic example is say in Uber, you're working on matching riders to drivers and you have an entire team focused on that. That's when you reach the specificity of, okay, let's, let's hire a guy who just knows a lot about this um, and that will help us. Um, and, and that's just a scale thing. So as you grow, you have more, more, specific roles and then you want to hire and target for those specific roles it's very difficult to say broadly what an ml engineer should and should not do it's such as too broad a role and it really depends on the specifics i it, it's the same with software engineering right we, when we do apply a blanket term for software engineering but there are obviously software engineers who are more are greater at front-end stuff mobile stuff uh, back-end stuff and so on and so forth so with ml engineers the specifics do matter a lot uh, I don't know if that really answers your question. I sort of went. <laughs>